Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For all of you that are just tuning in, I do weekly tips and recipe videos making motherhood enjoyable. One thing that I love most is cooking and I would love to share with you guys more of my culture. These lobster enchiladas are so easy to make and they will definitely be a hit at your next family gathering. I have the skillet going um, at a six, and I will put in two tablespoons of olive oil. So two tablespoons. Oh. <laughs> we love flavor. That is what makes the dishes just so amazing. It's ready to rock and roll. So I will first put in a half of an onion. It's already chopped up. Put that in. Let it saute for about two to three minutes and just mix it around. It gives the dish so much flavor. Now I do love a little bit of heat so I will put a serrano pepper. I will chop it up and I will put it in with the onion. This is going to that flavor. Nice little bite-sized pieces. <laughs> Khaleesi loves to cook with me in the kitchen, so she's like sitting right there looking at me. I definitely love to show her how to throw it down in the kitchen. So. If you hear a baby, it's Khaleesi. <laughs> so once it's like about about three minutes, the, the onion will turn a nice, you know, golden color. I'm using white onion. This has a lot of uh, great juice flavors. And once we have that going, let that do this thing. It's already getting nice and golden brown, so I will go ahead and toss in the lobster tail. Okay, I will use about two cups. This is a serving for uh, three, so I will use two cups of this. So that's one cup, and then I will put in one. It is a great serving, as you see right there. Now remember, this is already rinsed, thawed. It's, it's cooked. You just have to heat it up, um, which is why these are going to be so easy to make and so fast. Now I will use a third of a cup of cilantro. I like to use fresh vegetables and fresh spices just because it gives the dish so much flavor and the key to making whatever meal including these enchiladas is to do it with love that's one thing my mom always told me growing up do to your tasting to your liking and I will add some uh, cumin, some ground cumin. I'm gonna eyeball it. Nice eyeball, perfect. Oh, these lobster tails are nice and good to go. I will start on the sauce for you. That is what makes enchiladas, enchiladas, is that sauce. Juice is flowing in there. Now that our lobster tail is done, which is the filling for our enchiladas, I will add a can of Las Palmas enchilada sauce. I already added the whole can to our can here. And I will be using a vegetable broth, making this dish pescatarian friendly. So I will use a vegetable broth. You will put in two cups. So I like to fill this up being that there's some flavor that tends to get on the bottom from the sauce and I want to get it all in my pan and in my dish. So I will add two cups. Perfect. Mix it on in. 
Now, if you like a little heat, like me, I do like to add some Cholula hot sauce to the sauce itself, which is actually going to uh, be adding some more flavor to it. And I'll actually eyeball it. The sauce <laughs> is already ready. So. I know, Khaleesi, it smells delicious. <laughs> Now that our sauce and filling is done, we are ready to roll up these enchiladas and pop them in the oven. So you line up the bottom of the pan. So I will just line up the sauce on the bottom as you see. Make sure that it covers the whole bottom. Now that it's nice and sauced up on the bottom, we will start by rolling up our lupias. So just lay it flat. You will line it with a little cheese. In total, I'm using two cups of cheese. So the bigger you have it, see, just so you see, nice and tight. And it there you have it, rolled up. Now it, it is nice and tight. This is an uh, eight by nine Purex glass pan. You will have some filling left over, which is great because I will show you a trick that are gonna make the enchiladas that much more amazing. So you will add about a third of a cup. You'll sprinkle it on top with cheese, just like I'm doing. Hey, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So you will pour the sauce in the enchiladas it'll soak down which is great because one thing you don't want are dry enchiladas let it set nicely and it would just cover the enchiladas make sure they're covered not saturated but just like you see here okay you see that perfect and you do have filling left over so what i love to do and this is what makes them even special. I get the filling and I will dabble it over. Along with cheese on top. All those juices. Perfect. And then I will add a half a cup of cheese. All right. And you are good to go. Check that out. Doesn't that look amazing? One is enough. Thank you all for tuning in to Hi Moms with Bianca. I hope you make these simple lobster enchiladas at home and come back to comment down below. Like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.